What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. Senator Ben Pangolinan believes that the fifth and latest version of the FY14 budget incorporates many of the concerns from his Republican counterparts and concerns from the governor. The new budget bill still has tax refunds pegged at $120 million versus the $113 million the governor has requested. And it also fully implements COLA for retirees. The bill continues uh, to have $1,800 for COLA. Uh, we've discussed that and gone back and forth. And I think there's some movement and consideration on, on, uh, on my co other colleague's side, uh, on the Republican side, about considering that favorably. So where's the compromise? Senator Pangolinan says the compromise is in areas like the Hay Study. In his last bill, he appropriated $11 million for the full implementation of the Hay Study. The governor said this was too much as he was planning on phasing in the Hay Study as cash became available. Senator Pangolinan's latest budget now appropriates $8 million for Hay raises, which is what the governor's budget had. And then the revenue numbers are exactly what the governor has proposed. I'm a little uncomfortable with those revenue numbers, to be very honest. Uh, you know, I fought hard against adopting some of those revenue numbers. But, you know, the Republicans say that the budget that the governor submitted, which included the revenue in one S, is a responsible budget. They stand firm by those numbers. The governor continues to stand. So uh, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. The bill pegs revenue projections at $802 million. The bill also gives the governor back the flex ability to choose between the non-exclusive and exclusive health insurance contract for GovGuam employees. Over the weekend, lawmakers passed a bill that would cap funding for health insurance at $55 million, which would have effectively forced the governor to choose the cheaper exclusive contract. This latest budget now appropriates $68 million for health insurance, which Senator Pangolinan says is enough for the non-exclusive contract, but it also allows the governor to select the exclusive contract if he so chooses. If the exclusive contract is selected, the budget bill then allocates the $10 million in savings towards hay raises and retro merit bonuses for the judiciary and DOE, instead of using a line of credit for merit bonuses, which is something that the governor was opposed to. While Republicans have had little time to review the budget, at first glance, Senator Chris Duenas says it looks like a budget that they can work with. I think so far, uh, is especially since we've gotten into session now, uh, you see um, uh, a lot of room to work together, and I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what the people expect, and I hope that's what happens in the end. The senator says that there have been a lot of good faith talks that have been ongoing behind the scenes, and he's hopeful that they continue, but he's still waiting to review all of the details of this budget. I'm also waiting to see the analysis from the administration. Uh, I'm sure they've been reviewing it as well. But so far, Senator Duenas is happy that they are discussing the bill in the Committee of the Whole. This should allow for a product that uh, will eventually come out. Uh, that is something that we've all made together. So it, hopefully it will mean we can all pass it and uh, the governor can sign it.